Hello everyone, welcome back to our gigantic tier list of all the Smash Brothers alternate costumes throughout the years. You know, last video we covered the Smash 64 newcomers and all of their alternate costumes, and today we are going to be going through the Melee newcomers and all of their alternate costumes. So to start off the Melee newcomers, we have Peach. Um, when it comes to Peach's original design, I think it's okay, but I don't think it's like okay enough to be put in B tier. Um, pink is not really one of my favorite colors, so I'd probably put it down here. Oh, um, here. I, I like these a little bit better than Peach. Cash Money Peach. It's pretty simple. It's Cash Money. I'd probably put it right here since this is more of a yellow link and this is a flashy gold color. Moving on to Red Peach. I think Red Peach is great. I like it. Um, works really solid. I'd put it in B tier. I think around here works well. Blue Peach. I think Blue Peach works really well. But I think Red Peach works a smidge better. So we're just going to put Blue Peach around right here. That works. Green Peach, it's like with, same thing with red and blue peach. Uh, I like green the least out of the three colors, so we're just gonna put green peach like right here. All right, onto white wedding peach. Um, I think peach as uh, the wedding dress looks very nice. So I think it's solid enough to go into B tier, and I will say right around, yeah, let's say here, that's good. Red and white peach, it's like white peach, but smidge of red. Let's just put it right here, step above. Finally, to finish off peach, we have the black and gold peach. Very solid skin. I'll put it in A tier. Moving on to daisy, we have the original daisy. We'll just put it around here. Um, yeah, I'd say it's solid enough for a B tier. Green and yellow daisy, not really a favorite. Reminds me more of the Kirby and Ness skins. Uh, I just put it right around here in C tier. It just makes a lot of more sense. Red Daisy. I'd say it's around a similar situation with Peach, um, considering their Echo Fighters and all. I think it's Peach's dress is a lot more vibrant than Daisy's in this one. So I'm just going to put it a little bit below. Red Peach. Blue Daisy, same situation. Uh, Peach's dress is a little more vibrant, so I'm going to put Daisy around the same area where Peach is. Now, red and black Daisy is a totally different story. I think this is definitely a very unique costume for Daisy, and I like it a lot. Put it in A tier above, Serena Hat Puff, and Black Peach. Uh, this is actually a really interesting skin, the Purple Daisy. I put it in B tier because it's pretty solid, um, but I wouldn't put it too high. So, I'd put it around, uh, let's say here. That works well. White Daisy, same thing as White Peach. I can't really tell the difference. Uh, we'll just put it like right here. And then finally, Black and Green Daisy. Not as impressive as the, the Red and Black Daisy, but I'll still give it the credit where it's due. So we'll just put Black Daisy around here in B tier. Moving on, the King Koopa himself, Bowser. We're now coming across one of my mains, so we're definitely going to be seeing a little bit of bias come towards him. Um... OG Bowser, can't go wrong with him. He's a very solid character. I put him in B tier. Just a little bit above Donkey Kong. In fact, I'll do it a little bit further. I think he's a lot better than Falcon Skins. So let's put him right here. Rocky Road Bowser, my all time favorite Bowser skin. He is just so fun. It fits him so well, fits my playstyle so well. It's very rocky. And that's all I really have to say. He's just such a goaded skin. Cash Money Bowser, what can I say? It's just a step above DK. Look at this, just, he's out for your money. Now, I like this Bowser skin a lot because it definitely reminds me of a turtle with the coloring and shading they did. Um, this goes in high B tier above normal Bowser just because it's, it's like they gave him a lot more personality. Uh, Gray Bowser, I don't think is that good. It's all right, I'll put it in B tier, but it doesn't, you know, stand out to me that much. I'd put it maybe right around here. P 
pink hair Bowser. I don't really think they did this one well. It's just normal Bowser, but they swapped out his red hair for pink. That's pretty much all they did. You know, Mario's that Mario is looking a little lonely in D tier, so I am going to give him some company. I'm sorry, Bowser. It needs some work. A lot of work. And some work it did get in this skin. You know, I'm glad that they at least made it red. They're going to step in the right direction. A large step, in fact. I will put this in B tier. Uh, between the two Kirby's. Finally closing out Ultimate Skins, we have Blue Bowser. Very scald skin. I've been playing it in Smash 4 for a while before I found Rocky Road Bowser. So this is a solid B tier skin. I'm sorry, A tier skin, actually. I put it right here with Ice Luigi. And then this is the only Brawl skin I'm going to be talking about for Bowser. The Blue and Green Bowser. Very solid skin, if I do say so myself. Um, I put this high up in B tier. I'd say mm, right around here seems good. Moving on to Ice Climbers, we have some color adjustments to talk about between both Nana and Popo. So we'll be discovering both colors. So first of all, we have the OG duo themselves, Nana and Popo, blue and pink. I think it's solid. Deserves a B tier spot. I'd say, mm, let's go right here. Uh, these are my favorite of the Ice Climbers. Definitely gives them a real frosty look. And considering they're Ice Climbers, it totally makes sense. We're going to be putting this at the higher end of B tier. Let's put it about right here, actually. I think this is a really good spot for it. Um, I would actually argue that this would be the cash money of Ice Climbers. You got one is green, one is gold. It just is the perfect combination of cash money. Um, we'll put it as a step above Link for the extra effort. Um, this is a nicer version. It's like one's a darker blue and one's a minty green. I think this is nice. I put it a step above the original Ice Climbers just for the extra effort put into it. Red and blue Ice Climbers definitely symbolizes the player one, player two vibe coming off from, from the skin. I put it just above Ice Climbers, but not above the minty fresh combo that is ahead of them. Brown and gray Ice Climbers? I'm not sure where they were going with this one. I'm unfortunately going to have to put this in C tier as I do not find myself using this, really. Uh, I put it like right here in C tier. Uh, I just don't see myself using this. I like how they made the colors match. I, you know, I'd say, again, a step above the original. I'd say a step above the player one and the player two. Nice frosty colors. Love to see it. And then orange and purple. It's a confusing combo. I don't really know why. Eh, I'd probably put it mid-C tier, just above these. Alright, moving on to Sheik. Sheik has a lot of cool skins that I'd like to cover. So first one, OG Sheik. Definitely great. i put it in B tier, just between Link and Mario. Next up, we have Red Sheik. I think blue shoots Sheik a lot more better than red, but I'm still going to include it in B tier because Sheik likes to rock that red. Um, I believe this is more of a dark blue Sheik, and it looks a lot better than the original Sheik, so it's going a step above in B tier. Um, purple Sheik. I think purple Sheik is fine. I don't think it's better as red Sheik, so we're just going to put them all in a line for now until we find someone that's better. Uh, green Sheik. Green is managed to be pulled off pretty well by Sheik. It's a really good green design. I think he pulls off green the best so far, so we'll put him at the head of the green troop. Well, I guess not really, since that's where Bowser is. Um, this green cluster down here in B tier. Black Sheik, goaded skin. I love it. It's going to be an S tier skin for me. Um, I'd say around here is where I would put... Sheik, probably a step more. I, th I think I'd use Sheik a lot more. Maybe here is actually is good. Um, definitely pulls off that ninja vibe. It is great. I just love that they managed to pull black skin off with Sheik. Works fantastic, and I love it. And coming off that awesome S tier skin, we already have a cash money Sheik on our hands, and it looks great. Um, 
definitely gives off a bank heist vibe with that red scarf. I'm going to say that this one is going to go somewhere around uh, here in the cash money tier. Definitely looks great with our cash money ensemble and it's only going to get bigger from here. Now finally to finish off the chic skins we have the chic th skin that Void uses. Um, it's, a, it's a white chic. It has a lot some touches of light blue and red. It's quite an interesting skin, I'll give it that. Um, but I'd find myself using this um, more than I would the normal Sheik skin. But I think I'd use the purple Sheik skin a smidge more, so we're going to put it here in B tier. Moving on to Sheik's most boring version, Zelda. Definitely got spiced up a lot in Ultimate, but um, her design is about the same. I'd still put it higher in B tier. I'd say Br Zelda's Brawled Smash 4 design along with her melee design, has got to be C tier. I really do not like it. Bam, right behind Link. Alright, Red Zelda. Red Zelda looks pretty nice. Better than Pink Zelda. Let's put it right here. Blue Zelda. I think Z Red Zelda still looks a lot better. This is one of those instances where red is better than blue. So, I put it... I'd actually put it right here. I think I'd r rather use Normal Zelda over Blue Zelda. Uh, purple Zelda. I, c I can't really tell much of a difference between this and the normal one. I'd still use it more. So, here you go. Green Zelda. I don't really know what to say about this one. I think it's fine as, as a green skin. I'll put it right next to Peach. This skin, while I feel like would do a lot better, it's falling under the same category as Dark Link. As in, they didn't really pull off the dark skin as well as I wanted it to they just gave her gray hair and it looks more just like a dark purple skin than more of like a nice cool black vibe I think they did that in Smash 4 and Brawl but you know I didn't like the design already so ugh. I love that they, they still managed to reference Twilight Princess Zelda even though that they were referencing the link to the past in her original design and I love that they still managed to come in with that so, out of respect for that, that's definitely an A tier skin for me. Uh, I'm going to put it around right here for remembering that. Finally, I don't think I would count this one as a cash money Zelda. It's not cash money enough, in my opinion. But, I will definitely give it a pretty solid placement in B tier. It looks very nice. I like it a lot. Um, I'd say i put it right behind Red Zelda. Very solid skin. Moving on to Dr. Mario. His normal lab coat just looks very solid. You can't go wrong with just the normal run-of-the-mill doc. Let's put him right here in B tier. The red coat doc, it's fine. You know, makes him look more like a firefighter with that flood on his back. Oh, wait a minute. I'm thinking of regular Mario. I'm sure Dr. Mario is expert water trainer. So, he could probably be sat right beside his white counterpart blue dr mario yeah, it's a little faded to be honest i don't really like this one as much i put it on the lower end of b tier unfortunately maybe around here our uh, green dr mario again this looks more like a surgical the surgical doctor of some sorts i like how all his coats reference a different type of doctor in its own field like this one my favorite dr mario skin i can't remember exactly what this is meant to represent but i do re remember it's i believe it's like a severe like murder doctor like a doctor that deals with severe murders oh he's about to deliver some serious murders when i play this skin if you hadn't go see my dr mario lee smash video he definitely delivers some serious murders so S tier skin for me. Gotta just put that one right up there. As for the rest of them, let's put this Dr. Mario. I'm sorry you were not cash money enough to join right here. So, unfortunately, you're going to have to settle for C tier um, around here. Purple Doc. Uh, I think it's fine. I'll put it a little bit here in B tier. And then Pink Dr. Mario suffers the same fate. I do not, not really like it. Moving on to Pichu. Um... Pichu has an interesting going thing going on with it. It's a lot similar to Pikachu. Where is Pikachu, actually? Here he is. Let's put him right next to him. Because solid skin overall. B tier. 
Moving on. Goggles, Pichu. You know, you feel like I should put him right next to Goggles Pikachu in S tier, but I don't think it's that much of an S tier skin. But I will acknowledge the effort put in by putting the goggles on Pichu as well. That he got it an ultimate and Pikachu did not. So we'll give him an A tier spot for this one. Let's put him right above Party Hat Pikachu. Then we have a nice bandana Pikachu. This doesn't really reference anything, so it's kind of a weird quirk. I, I don't really get it. I put it in C tier, honestly. I don't get it. Now this is awesome. As you can probably tell from my channel logo, it is a skull. It's a phantom. It's a Grim Reaper. It has the skull. And Pichu is definitely showing some skull appreciation with that Team Skull hoodie. That is an S tier skin right there. Sorry, Pikachu Libre, you are an awesome skin, but Pichu has the channel rep. Gotta say, really nice. Sticking with the evil team spirit, we're moving on to Team Aqua Pichu. Not as impressive as the Team Skull Pichu, just because I'm, I don't, you know, live underwater. So, can't really say too much about that. Still a nice reference to another good evil team trying to change the world for the better. So we'll put him around here in B tier. Still very solid skin, nonetheless. Um, this one is actually a very nice reference and will be a lot higher on the tier list than it normally would. Uh, Spiky Ear Pichu. It was a event Pokemon back in the early 2010s. Um, and it had a spiky ear. That was its whole quirk. And I love how they made that reference in Ultimate as a callback to that event Pokemon. It's very nice to see. Uh, continuing the trend with flowers in their ear. Uh, Pichu now has a daisy in its ear. Continuing the trend with a uh, hibiscus puff. Um, I think that's it. I thought Pikachu had a flower in his ear, but I don't think he does. He does not. So I think we'll we'll give it this one a bit of an A for effort. I uh, probably just pick this one in B tier. And then finally, the headband. Pika Pichu, ah, Pikachu, Pichu, what's next, Raichu? I don't think so, but um, I think they definitely tried with the headband strat, um, Pikachu did it better in Smash 4, I'll give it credit where it's due, it's better than Pikachu's headband in Ultimate. Moving on to Mordecai, I mean, I mean Falco, sorry, um, Falco, we have the white Falco, the original Falco, very nice. I'm going to put it here in B tier. Next up we have Orange Falco. And it doesn't really look too good. I'm sorry. I do not like Orange Falco. It's going to go here in C tier. Uh, Purple Falco is actually pulled off really well here. And I respect it. Um, so much that it definitely deserves a high B tier placement. Um, let's put it right in front of Purple Sheik. It's really solid placement. Red Falco. Uh, I think it's fine. There are certain parts where the red is vibrant and other parts where the red is, you know, desaturated. So I think it's fine. So we'll just put it up, up below. Let's say right here is good. Moving on to Green Falco. It's not done as well as Red Falco, but not bad enough as Orange Falco. So, I'm going to put this at the lower end of the greenies over here. <laughs> but now, we're moving on to the goaded Falco. The Falcro, if you would. Such a great skin. I love how they, they did this. It was perfect. It was perfect in Brawl. Well, maybe not so much. It was perfect in Smash 4. And it's perfect here. It's so good, it just has to be an S tier. Alright, Blue Falco. Well, you know, they're all blue to some extent, but this one's a lighter blue. It's done slightly better. I'll give it that. It's at the height of C tier. There you go, Kirby. You have someone next to you. And then finally, Pink Falco. I don't even like this one. It's. Oh, I'd rather pick Orange Falco over it. So, you just go here in C tier. Moving on to Marth. Yeah, the pretty boy swordsman. Well, that's all I can really say. 
Marth. Original Marth. You just go like here and B tier. Uh, Red Marth does it better than the original Marth. And I know what you're going to say. Well, Green Marth has to go below regular Marth, right? Yeah. <laughs> he goes right here. There we go. He's with the greenies. It's a black skin. You know what it's all already is going. S tier. Nope, he's not that good of a character. But we'll put him in A tier because he decided to show the black colors off that day. So, there you go. White Marth. Well, actually pulls this off really well. And I respect it. Uh, I will put this uh, higher than red and white peach in B tier. Um, I like to call this like purple Marth, maybe. Uh, this is another like purple Marth. But I'll just put this one slightly higher than original Marth, wherever he is. Oh, here he is. And then we got cash money Marth. Here you are. Uh, you're probably just gonna go around here. You have some faint yellow, but you, you got some gold armor. I'll give you the pass on that one. That looks like it could cost about a hundred fire emblem coins or whatever currency you use in your fire emblem world. And then the final Marth skin we have right here in my hand can go right here, I think. I, I put this like right here. Alright, moving on to the boring version of Marth, Lucina. Yawn. Let's put Lucina... I, I, I'm, I don't like Lucina at all, so we're just going to put all Lucina skins in C tier. All at the bottom. Then we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll actually put you at the top because I, I like black. And then eight. Bam. I could have just put them all... You know what? I'm actually just going to move them all to D tier. Uh, you maybe... I'm just arranging them in a random order because I really just do not care for Lucina. It's just so annoying. No, you're not cash money. Get out of here. Not even you could be considered cash money. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now we can... Oh, man. Another annoying swordsman. Fine. We'll, 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 this one at least has some good alts, so we'll cover him. Uh, normal Yun Link... Let's just put them with the rest of the greenies. You're the most annoying, so we'll put you down here. Red Young Link, uh, I think you you know what's about to happen. We're just going to put him right here. Navy Blue Young Link actually does it better. Actually is an example where blue does it better than red. So for that, you get to go up here. Uh, Gray Young Link, I don't really see how this one is that good. It's just gray, so we'll put it like at the bottom of B tier. No, actually, I'll go a step further, put it here in C tier. Thank Young Link, really. Y you just had to wash out the red red uniform with the whites, and, and it came out like this. How silly, you're just going right here. Light Blue Young Link, I think the Navy Blue still does it better. I'll give it a chance. You're going like right here in B tier. Uh, orange on link. Eh, it's meh. I'll give it that. Uh, B tier. And then dark on link. It's the same thing as regular dark link. I just don't like the dark link design. Eh, it's it's just something about it. I, I don't like the red eyes. They just don't do it well. The gray hair is just not done well enough for me. But you know what is done well? This black skin from Melee that just never seemed to return. Probably just because you know, like, it didn't return until Ultimate. So I like that this was at least used once. So for the first time, we're going to be putting this somewhere around here in B tier. Alright, time for Ganondorf. Alright, we're going to move Mr... Warlock guy over here in B tier. I believe here would make sense. Um, I'm not sure what to call this cannon. He has a purple one, but I don't want to call him purple cannon because there's another purple cannon. I think I'd use him more over the original cannon, so he goes here. Blue cannon. 
I think I kind of like this one. It's a little disturbing, but I kind of like it. So we'll put him here in B tier. Uh, this, I would argue, is the cash money Ganon. He has the green. He has the gold. Uh, I put him a step above both. Right here in the cash money tier. But this... I unfortunately cannot classify as cash money. There can only be one cash money Ganon. And that is that green Ganon that I just put in here. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave that guy out. Now it's time for purple Ganon. We can just move him right here into the top of B tier. Same thing with this one. I think we could probably need to move this a little bit lower below blue Ganon. Maybe around... I'll put you right here. Uh, Grandpa Ganon, it's so nice to see you after 3,000 years. Or maybe you should have gone back to bed. You have too many wrinkles. Uh, let's just put you around here and see here. I don't really like this one. Actually, I will put it better up here. That's fine. And then the Black Ganon truly references the King of Darkness. Solid A tier skin. Gotta give it that. Uh, here you go. Alright, we're down to the last few. Moving on to Mewtwo. Solid Mewtwo skin. I'll give it that. It's the OG Mewtwo. Can't really go wrong with it. Let's put it uh, around here in B tier. Orange Mewtwo. I'm not really sure where the inspiration for Orange Mewtwo came, but I think it's fine. I'd still prefer normal Mewtwo, though. Wherever he is in B tier. Blue Mewtwo. This is actually a really solid Mewtwo skin. I think the blue works very nice with Mewtwo. In fact, the only thing that changes is the tail, but it's a great backup skin. I like it. Just with Blue Bowser and Ice Luigi, I'm going to put him right here in A tier for a very solid skin. Um, making Mewtwo's tail brown is probably not the best choice to do, if you know what I mean, but... Um, he still manages to pull it off really well. I'll give him that. We'll put him on the higher end of B tier for this. All right. Red Mewtwo. I think red is kind of saturated here. Kind of not. We'll put it down here in B tier. Yellow Mewtwo. Um, I don't really like this one. Just because the yellow doesn't really fit that well. If it was Golder, I could probably consider it a cash money. Or if Mewtwo was just... The entire Mewtwo was gold himself. But no, it's just this lame yellow version. I have to put it in C tier. I'm sorry, Mewtwo. I love that they referenced the shiny Mewtwo. Or at least tried to a little bit. Because now he just looks like toothpaste. <laughs> Minty Fresh. I will definitely put this one above in B tier. And oh my gosh, we gotta talk about this. This is the best Mewtwo skin. I love the reference. I love the colors. It's so good. This is definitely in probably one of my top five. Pro maybe not. Maybe it's more like top 10. But this is just such a great skin. I will always use this when playing Mewtwo. It's so fun. On to Roy. You know, normal Roy is fine. Let's put him in the B tier. Orange Roy. The B tier. Green Roy. The C tier. No, I'm just kidding. The B tier. Something, I think this is like purple and orange Roy. I think this is a good Roy, actually. I don't think he is that good, though. I'm going to put him in, you guessed it, the B tier. Teal Roy. I actually put or light blue Roy. I put the skin a little bit in Smash 4. It's definitely solid as a B tier skin. So I would definitely put this around right here. I think that's a good spot for that Roy skin. Purple Roy has got to be my favorite Roy skin though. I feel like he pulls it off the best and just the colors that that are shown here just really work together. Let's put them all the way up here in A tier. And we have this like weird pinkish purplish Roy. I don't get it. C tier. And then finally, to cap it all off, Cash Money Roy. You're cooler than Marth. Um, I'd say you're even cooler than Ganondorf. 
And even cooler than Nice Guy armors, because you got the, that gold armor. Nice work, Roy. All right, Krom. The, you know, the copy Roy. Uh, normal Krom's design is fine. I'll just throw it in B tier, because why not? Uh, Red Krom is actually done really well. I like it a lot. Um, it definitely can go high up in B tier. So I put this around here. Why is Green Dr. Mario higher? He's not. The next two remind me of more of like him being a desert warrior. This is Green Krom, but he has like this desert Arabian cape of some short sorts. I'm not too big of a fan of it, but I kind of like the reference. So we'll put them at the bottom of B tier. This one, and I actually put would put this one slightly higher because I like the red cape on him. Moving on, this is one of my favorite Krom skins. This is definitely really good. I think I would use this the most, just because it's the black Krom skin. So, we'll definitely put this one atop the B tier. And I would like to do the same for this one. The purple Krom with the black cape <laughs> looks great on it. Um... We'll come back to you in just a little bit because I'm going to put you up there. Um, White Chrome is fine. I probably put him like here and beats here maybe. Makes sense. Um, and then, like I said, you're just going all the way up here in B tier because it just makes sense. I've also used this skin before. It's not that bad. And we are now arrived at our final character, Mr. Game & Watch. I think that this is just solid. Black Game & Watch skin, certified A tier. He just pulls off the original look the best. Alright, moving on to Red & Watch. Or, Red Mr. Game & Watch. I'd say Red & Watch because it's better to say it like that. It's solid, I'll give it that. I'll put it right here in B tier. A yellow Game & Watch, it's just really desaturated. There just needs to be a lot of changes. Uh, better than Lucina. I'll put it right here in D tier. It, it, I think that it just needs to be either brighter or not look like vomit. Because that's just what it reminds me of. Blue and watch. Nice dark blue skin. I think it's definitely really good. I will put this right here in B tier. Alright, now we have another blue skin. This one's more of a teal version. Um, I think the dark blue version does it a little bit better, so we'll put it right here. Ah, uh, the Meister skin. If there's anything I learned, never play like Meister. Unless you're Meister. Um, I think this is going to go up a fair amount. Maybe around here. There we go. In B tier. I love that they make green game and watch, make it look like it was on an old CRT TV where the black characters actually appear sort of greenish like and I love the attention to detail so much that it just has to go up here in B tier it, it just makes so much sense I, I love the reference and to close out the melee skins we have white and watch what a great skin it's just the inverted mr. game and watch gotta put this one in A tier all right, and that's going to be it for the Smash 64 and Melee Newcomers. Tune in for the next video to see Brawl's alternate costumes ranked. And I'll catch you guys next time.